Folks, Robert Score here, inventor multi-patent holder of the Score Wire Chafing Stand. Keeping food hot all party long is what we do at the Score Wire Chafer. Uh, we keep food hot buffet style. Pans of uh, food, aluminum pan with water, uh, canned heat underneath with the flames, boils the water, water comes up in steam, steam evenly heats the food. We'll show you. Today, Kevin with his friend Daniel are going to prepare uh, Thomas Jefferson mac and cheese, and uh, we're going to do uh, hot dogs, beef hot dogs, and uh, beans, uh, which by itself is straightforward. We, we cook uh, the hot dogs, chop them up, put them in with some uh, beans, and uh, we've got that aspect of it. The uh, thing that we're going to do now with Daniel and Kevin is uh, Thomas Jefferson uh, mac and cheese. Let, let me show you how they do it. Hi, I'm Dan. I will be showing you how to make the cheese for the Jefferson Mac. You're going to want to start off by adding some butter. Uh, you will, you won't, you're going to want to add some milk. A pinch of nutmeg. You're going to add some cayenne. You're going to want to add some uh, basil. You want to add some thyme, and you're gonna want to add some uh, some white pepper, and you're gonna want one tablespoon teaspoon of honey Dijon mustard, and then you're gonna want in some flour, and you're gonna want a just a, a cap size of um, some Worcester sauce. And then you're going to want to whisk it. We've been stirring this often for about uh, eight minutes. See how it has a nice and creamy and rich texture. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and add our cheeses. We got uh, mozzarella and cheddar. We're just going to add a uh, little bit in there. We're going to mix it around just a little bit so we can let the cheese melt. You know, get it into that. Uh, Get into the cheese, you know, make a good, nice taste. All right, folks, we're done with our sauce. So we're gonna pour it over the pasta. Get that nice and spread out. All right, folks, we finished and put the sauce into the pasta. Uh, we use an aluminum pan. You could also use a casserole dish, but it makes it for it easier to go into the uh, school of wire so now we're going to add in some uh, more cheese to put on top. Now once again this is cheddar and mozzarella. Makes for a nice taste. Alright folks, we're done with our macaroni and cheese. You're going to want to put it in the oven for 400 degrees Fahrenheit and let it sit for about 20 minutes and then I think you're done. Hey folks, here it is. Uh Mac and cheese Jefferson style, done by uh, Kevin and Daniel. You've seen the recipe. You've seen how they cooked it. Looks delicious. It's in a score wire chafing stand. We got our own pork and beans. It's very simple. Just a couple cans of beans and uh, some beef franks that we uh, cut up and put inside there. And uh, it's ready to serve. Uh, party guests, uh, people that are over at your pool party or something. Well, let's give this a taste now. That is nice. Mac and cheese is a family favorite, by the way. Mm. Nice and hot. Score wire chafing stands. Keeping food hot so you don't have to. Look up on our website, score.com, for the directions and uh, ingredient lists for uh, this Thomas Jefferson mac and cheese. Kevin and Daniel, they did a great job. Enjoy, folks.